Hi folks, welcome back to my video series. My name is Loy. Uh, before we proceed into talking about how to configure backup for Microsoft Office 365, please go to the bottom of my YouTube and click on subscribe button. All right? So in order for you to backup Microsoft Office 365, uh, the first thing is you need to prepare a Windows virtual machines and then uh, you download the installer from Veeam website. Once you have done that, the next thing is you can start to configure backup of Microsoft Office 365 uh, using Veeam technology in less than 5 minutes. Without further ado, let's look into how to configure. Alright, so I'm assuming that you already download the installer and this is uh, after I unzip from the installer, uh, first thing is you need to install this and then once you have complete this, you will start to install all the explorers. So you will have Exchange, SharePoint and Microsoft Team Explorers. right? So to save time, I already installed it and from here you're able to see there's a few icon. So let's click into the first one. Alright, so first and foremost, um, let's look into here, backup infrastructures. Um, let's start to, you can add more proxies and also repositories as well. So at this moment, by default, I already have a default repositories. It will always point to the C drive. Uh, not recommended to put into C drive. So therefore, I'm going to add another repo. Alright, next uh, let's point to E drive. With Beam version 5, uh, we allow you to tier uh, your backup data into object storage. Alright, so you do have uh, options, uh, whether you want to put it on prem or you can also leverage on object storage as well. So I'm not going to use object storage, right? So if you do really want to use the object storage, please feel free to click on the videos link on the descriptions. Uh, that will teach you on how to configure object storage, right? So let's click next. Uh, the next thing is uh, you can specify your retentions, right? So just remember the retentions follow the report stories. Right. So you can decide to put it uh, 1 years, 3 years, 5 years or keep it forever or you can have a specified by number of days. Right. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to select 1 year right. uh, and then you have uh, two options here, item level retentions or snapshot based retentions. Right. So by default we will select item level retentions that means um, we will start to backup right now and keep your backup data for a, the previous one year, right? If you do have uh, options whereby you want to uh, keep your backup data every six months, uh, then you need to create another backup policy, and you can select snapshot based retentions, so you're able to backups according to your retentions, and you can start to do tape up as well, right? So done, let's click finish. So I already added my first report stories. Right? So with Veeam version 5, uh, one of the enhancements is previously they only support uh, one backup server support up to 10 proxy. Now they can they already scale one backup server, you can now scale to 50 uh, proxy. Right? Object storage. You can add if you want to, right? So let me uh, quickly run through on this. So from here, uh, you still remain the same. We do support S3 compatible, Amazon S3, Azure Block Storage, and IBM Object Storage as well, right? So I'm not going to proceed on this. I'm just going to click cancel. Now, so before we start into uh, configurations, now let's move into some general settings. 
So from here, you can decide, uh, do you want to exclude uh, some of the components, for example, draft, deleted items, outbox, right, uh, or contact or calendars, all these you can exclude, right? If you want to receive notifications of uh, success or failures or backups, you can configure this as well, right? So I'm not going to configure this. So this is the two main uh, tabs that you can play around with it. So without further ado, let's add your organizations. So from here, you can select uh, you want to do hybrids or you want just want to back up Microsoft Office 365, all right? Or you can also select backup on prep. So we are going to select backup Office 365 and we are going to protect three services, Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, and OneDrive, plus the latest one, Veeam, Backup for Office 365 is to back up Microsoft Team. Then you will select your regions. Uh, if you are residing on uh, different regions which is need to follow the regulations, then uh, for example, uh, Germany, China, US, they do have a certain uh, compliance, right? If not, then you can select default. We also support the modern auth authentications, all right? Uh, at this moment, right now, I'm going to select basics. So let's proceed on this. All right, enter your global administrator accounts. And let's start to connect to it. If your credentials is correct with the certain right you will be able to connect to Office 365 and you will then you can start to do backup right so once you've done that you can click finish there you go so we have added our first organizations uh, do remember this deployment is a single domain all right uh, it does not support multi-tenancy so if you want to set up multi-tenancy, especially for service provider, then you need to set up Veeam Cloud Connect, right? So I added my first domain. Next thing is let's start to create backup. So I'm going to backup exchange online. Start. Alright, so from here you're able to select you want to back up entire organizations or you can also do a selection, so either you back up by users, by groups, site, Microsoft Teams and organizations. So if you select users, so from here you're able to select uh, your share mailbox, alright? or you want to back up individual user next uh, do you want to do exclusions if you want to exclude you can also select exclusion as well so I'm not going to do that uh, next select your proxies and also your report stories Specify the times that you want this to run backup. So I'm just going to create right now. There you go. Alright. Alright. So let's back to the screen. Uh, we have completed to configure the Veeam backup for Office 365 version 5. And we have shown you on some of the basic settings and managed to configure to backup Exchange Online. Right. So for those of you who would like to know more, please stay tuned for my next video and do remember to click on the subscribe button for my next video. Thank you very much and see you next time.